So this is where we do have the strongest thunderstorms and they are going to start to weaken as we head over the next couple of days. But today we still have that threat for stronger storms and we are clearing out here and cooling off. Look how beautiful it is here throughout the south central region of the U.S. and all the way down into Houston. Mwah. Al, over to you. Steph, thanks so much. All right, uh, a busy morning here on Wake Up With Al, and I know, Sam, your guys are going to have your hands full dealing with everything that's going on. Well, Al, I'll tell you, we've got this long line of storms that's really pretty powerful this morning from Tennessee all the way through Georgia into the Deep South. This thing continues to fire up, and as we get some daylight on it, it's going to get worse. We've already seen these little areas of circulation pick up. We've already had one or two warnings moving through. This will likely take off as we go through the morning, so you're going to want to spot check us this morning before you head out the door and know what's going on. We've got this tropical system in the Atlantic. We've got one in the Pacific, so we have those two areas to talk about this morning. And watch. We're looking for what could be a major uh, hurricane if Gonzalo becomes uh, everything that they say it will off the east coast of the U.S. And so far, that uh, forecast has not been exactly on track. So all eyes will be on that area to see what's going on. Have you seen the video, Al, that we've been shooting from this line of storms this morning? Frightening. And so now it's, it's very clear what's going on in this line of storms in the dark of night. Uh, just, wow. I mean, the wind and the rain that's coming out of this stuff, uh, we'll put it all out uh, all out on Twitter this morning, and we're putting it on AMHQ uh, just moments from now. So we're doing the fast turnaround there. All right, Sam, uh, we'll be tuning in. Thanks so much. That does it for us here on Wake Up With Al. Uh, we've got more coming up. That we do. We have a 10 a.m. edition of Wake Up With Al, our second power hour. That's right. So until then, make it a great day. Stay safe. We'll see you then. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. High, 86. Chance of rain, 40%. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms early, then partly cloudy after midnight, low 76. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. Good morning, it's Tuesday, October 14th, and welcome to AMHQ. We'll continue our coverage of this long line of storms that runs from Tennessee through Georgia all the way into North Florida. This has been a tornado-warned line of storms with powerful winds, some hail, very heavy rain, and we're live in northern part of Georgia, also in central and southern part of Georgia. We're also live where we've got some tropical concerns as well. These storms already proving deadly. It's a three-day event of storms, killing at least two people. Our severe weather outbreak continues today. More than 30 million of us under the threat for severe storms today. The timing and impacts will keep you ahead of the storm live. The Weather Channel covering each of these threats like no one else can. Our Mike Bettis is live in Atlanta where we've seen tornado warnings already this morning. Reagan Meggie is tracking those storms through central Georgia. Hurricane Gonzalo strengthening in the Atlantic. Tropical storm warnings in effect for the British Virgin Islands, Anguilla and St. Martin, Puerto Rico. Not quite in the clear. Bermuda is next. I tried everything I could to get it out, but there was a tree on top of her. And this is what we're hearing from this three-day outbreak of storms. We've been watching these stories and the families beneath these storms. Firefighters quickly on the scene and distraught that they couldn't help in this case. 75-year-old Alabama woman died yesterday when a tree fell on her home in Burnwell, just outside of Birmingham. Within 30 minutes of this incident, there were already nearby gusts of 60 and 70 miles an hour. And this morning, Maria, we've had 60, 63 mile per hour wind gusts picking up in South Georgia and also through North Florida. Yeah, and here's the latest that we have in to 
our newsroom, two people have died from severe weather that moved through the south yesterday. One woman killed when a tree fell on her home in Dora, Alabama. The other, a decorated war veteran in Ashdown, Arkansas. In Louisiana, Governor Bobby Jindal has declared a state of emergency after severe weather downed trees and power lines, knocking out power to more than 25,000. Entergy saying some of those people will be in the dark until at least Friday. And in Monroe, Louisiana, schools are closed today due to severe storms. And we're hearing that there are some uh, schools in the Atlanta metro that are delaying opening because of the severe weather. Yeah, and North Georgia, uh, Dade County in North Georgia, already saying they've had dime-sized hail, one to three inches of rain, some flooding in that area. Let's get to the big board into the big wall, and we'll show you this storm in a way that others haven't can't, really can't show it to you. Look at the sky view of where that front is and that extra oomph from the jet stream right on top of it. This is the line of the storms today. Remember, multi-day yesterday was back off to the west. Today we concentrate east. And then there's an active line later today that we're likely to see the possibility of tornadoes flare up right there in the pulsating area of concern. Let's show you the radars as we watch one, two, really three lines of storms this morning. So we'll time out this first line. This is the line that you got the tornado warning in through the Atlanta metro area. As we watch that, it's Vidalia, it's Augusta, it's Savannah later this morning, probably by about 9.30, 9, I'm sorry, 9.03 in the morning through Savannah, Brunswick as well at just about the same time. There's another line of storms back off to the west. So Atlanta, even though there's lighter rain, and you'll see it on a live shot with Mike momentarily, you're not out of this yet. We'll watch the secondary line of rain move through Albany, probably about 943. Atlanta, you'll get into it a little bit later this morning. And of course, there's this just this little impulse of moisture that's pulling into the Carolinas this morning. That's where we'll be focusing on where the tornadoes are going to light up later on today or the potential for them. So looking at the rain in Atlanta right now, our Mike Bettis has been tracking the storms there. Mike was underneath that line when we got that warning. Now, Mike, no reason to believe that it was a tornado, but there were certainly that, that little indication of circulation on the radar. Yeah, tense moments for sure, especially in the pre-dawn hours when a lot of people are still asleep or maybe just getting up. The last thing they're expecting is a tornado warning uh, for their area. But north side of town is where we had the tornado warning through the uh, Sandy Springs, Dunwoody, Roswell area. That storm is still severe thunderstorm warned as it rolls up through the Gainesville area. But uh, obviously some rotation detected by radar and even by our meteorologists there at the Weather Channel outside taking some video of it at the time. Uh, the threat now is pushing eastbound, though. But we still could see some brief tornado spin-ups. We still have the tornado watch in effect, but a very strong squall line that extends east of Atlanta. So from truly the mountains of North Georgia, where around Gainesville and Helen, all the way down through, uh, say, uh, maybe Athens, on down toward Milledgeville, very strong line and multiple severe thunderstorm warnings along that. I-20 in particular coming in from the east side is going to be a very dangerous road for you to be on from, uh, say, Crawfordville, Covington, and then into Atlanta. It's going to be all rain for you. As far as our forecast goes, anticipate at least this moderate rain in the Atlanta metro area to continue. Continue, uh, at least through the lunchtime hour, maybe not just an hour or two after that, then things become cloudy and then eventually clearer for us tomorrow, a much better day. But if you're traveling, whether it be by airplane or whether it be by car, it is a very tough go in the Atlanta metro area, notorious for its bad traffic. And now you throw some rain on top of it. It is not fun by any means. Uh, by the way, latest updates from Georgia Power, 14,000 in the metro area without power this morning because of the storms as they race through. Let's get some more details on these storms this morning with our storms specialist Carl Parker in the lab. Good morning, Carl. Morning, Mike. We want to outline the threats and what we're looking at today is very heavy rain. Certainly there is a wind threat with these storms. We may see brief spin ups, probably not long track tornadoes, and we probably won't see much hail. The storms are not really tall and they have to be very tall to produce hail. So here, first of all, is a severe warning in eastern parts of Georgia that's coming up into the Athens metro area. That's for Green Morgan Putnam counties. The movement is northeast at 40 miles per hour, so damaging wind to possibly possibility there in Athens as well as Enterprise and Elberton. That's going to be over the next several minutes as it continues to zip off to the north. We'll take a look uh, close up here in the storm. And so you've got the wind threat coming out of that line in here. We always want to watch these little comma heads right there where there's a little kink. That's where we occasionally get a little more rotation right now. We are not seeing that, but we are seeing those stronger winds as they are driving away from the radar right there. Now a little bit farther along to the south, uh, down into Florida. Another severe warning to tell you about here. 
here. That's a severe thunderstorm warning for Walton County and the movement again very quick off to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. Again, damaging wind is going to be the primary threat. So we've got this big line of storms, storms moving off to the north here quickly, but the entire line only moving very slowly to the east. Mostly it's going to be a wind threat today and then we will certainly see a lot of heavy rain in spots. Talking about the Torcon index, it's a three out of 10 southern and eastern Georgia. And then we're looking at a three out of 10 in central North Carolina. Again, mostly for brief spin ups, not necessarily long track tornadoes. And then tonight that severe threat is going to move over into the Carolinas. And uh, certainly we need to watch out in Raleigh, Greenville and Savannah even into the overnight hours. Maria. Now if the severe weather wasn't enough, we've got our hands full with what is now Hurricane Gonzalo. And we have pictures coming in this morning out of San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is uh, yesterday. As you can see, the winds blowing through those palm trees, the storm bringing rain and high waves to the island. And let's take you live there now to Fajardo, Puerto Rico, just east of San Juan. Tropical storm warnings have been dropped, but we still do expect the rain throughout the morning, so we'll keep an eye on that. But the weather story when it comes to Gonzalo is going to be quite interesting because this storm continues to strengthen. We take a look at it right now. Uh, maximum winds are at 110 miles per hour, is literally just a hiccup away from being a major hurricane. You can see relatively small, but it is now moving to the northwest at about 13 miles per hour. The radar picture really tells you the story. You've got a, an eye right here. It's about 130 miles to the north and east of San Juan, but you still see you're getting those rain bands coming in occasionally. But it is going to continue to push to the northwest. What's really fascinating is that uh, we do have the tropical storm warnings uh, that are still posted for the British Virgin Islands and St. Martin. So uh, they have been dropped from Puerto Rico, but it's next stop looks to be Bermuda. But what's interesting here is that not only do we fully expect it to become a major hurricane, but it could be a major hurricane by the time it arrives Bermuda. Now keep in mind, it was just this past weekend that Bermuda was hit by Faye. Take a look at the history here, recent hurricanes. It has been a long time, 11 years, Hurricane Fabian says we've had a major hurricane strike Bermuda and this one could be it. Uh, what's interesting again, it's Sam just a few days since it was hit by Faye. Bermuda is the next place we'll look for in that storm. The, path, the track of it a little bit further east than expected. And you could see right on the eastern end of Puerto Rico in where Fajardo was just how you see those clouds whipping by. We're tracking the rain and the storms this morning. Very active and powerful storms all the way from the Carolinas into Florida. And we're live on the roads. We'll show you what it looks like right after your local weather. Here's what you can expect this morning. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. High, 86. Chance of rain, 40%. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms early, then partly cloudy after midnight. Low, 76. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook. past the hour. Welcome back to AMHQ. Cleanup underway this morning in Illinois after severe storms swept through the central part of the state. Just look at this damage. We had trees snapped in half, debris scattered all over the streets, and even roofs ripped off some of these homes. There were also reports of flooding, funnel clouds, and a tornado touchdown in one area. No word of any injuries or major damage. That is some good news. These storms have pushed off to the east in Indiana this morning. This is a live look at Indianapolis, where rain has been falling since early this morning. We've picked up just to under half an inch of rain and there's more coming as we head through the rest of the day. So a little bit of a tough drive this morning, 64 degrees out there, by the way. Keep in mind too, with the leaves coming down in the rain, the leaves on the roadway could be just like black eyes. Just watch that stopping distance in a nice little pocket for now, 65 and I-70 though, if you're heading outward from Indianapolis, you're running into some showers. And what is really relatively cool showers, certainly on the north side where you have places like La Crosse and Des Moines on the back side of that circulation, that area of low pressure. Meanwhile,
Meanwhile, to the south, man, nothing shutting off that moisture source. It is tapping right into the Gulf of Mexico. That jet steam stream dip just pulling up that moisture out ahead of that cold front. And obviously, that is the fuel for the showers and the thunderstorms. We do think that severe risk east of places like Indianapolis, but Columbus down towards Lexington, in through the parts of the Tennessee Valley, heads up for the heavy rain, the gusty winds, and maybe some hail. But the rain and thunderstorms continue to push east here as we get in through the overnight hours. Notice by tomorrow, our severe risk area in red is now into the Delmarva and parts of the Northeast, including Philadelphia, D.C., and down into the Carolinas again. Big threat coming along with this, of course, the heavy rain, a big area here where we could see at least two inches of rain and no doubt you know, some of those isolated areas easily getting more than uh, two to three inches of rainfall. So heads up from Cincinnati, Pittsburgh and down to Charlotte. For a city like Philadelphia, it's just going to be kind of warm and balmy here today, up near 80 degrees. It's tomorrow into Thursday that we get the stormy days. Again, keep in mind that uh, we're concerned about maybe some of the gusty winds being damaging winds for Philly tomorrow. It's out of here and it's a clean sweep for Friday. It looks gorgeous here, 70 degrees with some sunshine, those overnight low temperatures too. You're going to feel it there as well, going from lows near 70 this morning, Sam, to just into the low to mid 50s. Sam? All right, Maria, we've got this just in. We're talking about this tornado warning, and we're trying to get all the information we can right now. This tornado warning includes Athens, Georgia, which is the University of Georgia campus as well. Clark, Jackson, Madison counties, Athens, Bogart, and Nicholson, just some of the cities. This is until 745 in the morning, Easter. Now, we've watched this line continue to move east, and in this line, we've seen radar indicated spinning, and uh, we haven't had any indication on the ground that there has actually been a tornado, but the tornado warning means you should take cover immediately right now. Move into an interior room of a building, particularly if you're in that campus area in Athens, Georgia. A lot of students, a lot of students and faculty in there. Folks are getting up this morning, getting ready to move in. Make sure now you move away from the windows and wait for this storm to pass. These storms are racing quickly, about 55 miles an hour, so it shouldn't take too long to get this out of the way. What you're looking for right there is the spin. When you see the red and the green side by side, you know you're looking for something, but when you see them mixed together like that, you know you kind of have the radar indication right there. So that's that's exactly what we're looking at. There's Watkins, there's Bishop, there's North High Shoals right there. So we continue to watch this move to the northeast. And Bogart, you're kind of in line for this as it crosses 29 right there. So if you're and there at the top of the screen is Athens. So you can see just how close it is to that University of Georgia campus. That's why we're so concerned this morning. We know that people are out on the roads. They're getting ready for their day. And we have this very active line of storms that we've been following all the way through the state of Georgia this morning. And it will continue to to be active there. Let's show you some pictures out of Monroe, Louisiana. This is the kind of damage that we're going to be looking at during the day today and certainly through the morning. By the way, when we see that indication on the radar of that storm moving toward Athens, there's an awful lot of rain there. So the reason we're being so strong on this warning is it's likely even people about 20 miles away, 15 miles away, can't see what we're talking about if there's circulation there because any of that could be rain wrapped. This damage was just from 55 mile per hour wind gusts and you can see uh, took out some windows, took out an off lot of, and so we're watching this kind of damage swing east through Georgia into the Carolinas we think likely later on today it's why we're taking so much time to talk about it this morning now we've left Auburn Alabama with a good part of those storms earlier this morning those storms were pounding through there you can see from the live shot here the roads are still a little bit wet there's still a little bit of rain in the area but what are the roads like and how difficult is it to drive when you drive into one of these patches of very heavy rain streets are lit up with traffic this morning near the Atlanta area and our Reagan Meji is well south of there because we wanted to cover these storms that were near Ma uh, Reagan <laughs> near Macon this morning. So let's talk a little bit about the lightning you've seen and those storms are chasing you really from North Florida driving all the way north through Georgia. Good morning, Reagan. Well, good morning there, Sammy. And I'm also been, telling, been told that we're going to be going into a storm. So you're going to look up the sky here. You may see a light show as I'm talking, and it is spectacular. You'll see streaks of lightning go across and dance across the sky. So what are we doing here? We're basically showing you a bird's eye perspective of what you and I will likely be seeing uh, if you're traveling on Route 96 in Georgia, in the southern part of Georgia. We uh, went from Columbus uh, near the Alabama uh, border all the way upward towards uh, Macon. You can see the the roads are basically wet. 
and the uh, rain isn't falling too hard. We did go through one band that was kind of treacherous, uh, but now it seems like it's reasonably well. But that line of storms we're heading into and behind are just going to be sandwiching us in the middle. Sam, back to you. All right, Reagan Motor Report, Reagan Medji reporting for us live uh, as she was driving through those storms in Macon. Wow, we have a very active line of storms this morning. It's still going and it's on the move where it's headed next. You smell nothing. You smell nothing. Introducing the best lightweight litter for odor elimination, guaranteed. Fresh Step Extreme. Lightweight. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Kevin. Blah, blah, insurance. Person, come help. Hey, Grandma. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you get to a better state. At CVS Health, we took a deep breath and made the decision to quit selling cigarettes in our CVS pharmacies. Now we invite smokers to quit too with our comprehensive program. We just want to help everyone. When it comes to finding a cure for breast cancer, I'm all business. That's why I support QVC Presents Fanny Shoes on Sale. You should too. Shop beautiful shoes, including styles from my own collection, at half the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Helping others is everybody's business. Tune in Thursday, October 16th at 6 p.m. Eastern, only on QVC. House of Appliances. Over 40 premium appliance brands and the only Sub-Zero Wolf Living Kitchen in South Florida make our exquisite 12,000 square foot showroom a cut above the competition. Locally owned for over 30 years, House of Appliances expert sales associates, in-house delivery service and factory certified installation teams are here to serve you. Visit House of Appliances where customer satisfaction is the house rule. There's no obligation, and you can receive a decision in minutes. Visit us online at ondeck.com today. Sunday nights, the Weather Channel unravels nature's darkest secrets. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend. It may have just looked like a storm, but they were dealing with something far worse. American Supernatural. Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Stay tuned for your local on the 8s brought to you by Exxon. Get energy for all life's journeys. Exxon and Mobile. Energy lives here. This is Gordon. Downtown for a sales call. West side for a presentation. Meeting after meeting after meeting. That's why Gordon stops at Exxon and Mobile for fuels that help his engine run cleaner, smoother, and with better fuel economy so he can make it to the meeting that matters most. Gordon is energy. Exxon and Mobile. Energy lives here. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. High, 86. Chance of rain, 40%. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms early, then partly cloudy after midnight. Low, 76. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook.
19 minutes after the hour. Welcome back to AMHQ. Marie and I tracking this line of storms for you this morning so you'll know what's going on. Let's just give you a placement. I'm closest to Atlanta right now. Maria's got Athens, Georgia right there. Right there. And there's the warning. So we have this warning out until 745. Uh, what has been going on this morning is that you have this line and there's a few little kinks in it and that's allowing for some rotation. So the Doppler's indicating there may be some rotation. You were talking about what we look yeah. for on the radar and you need the green and the red together. That shows that the winds are going in opposite directions and that is the rotation. Right. Red goes away from the radar, green comes in. So when you see them side by side, you get start to get, you know, pay attention. When you see them wrapped like that, now you know you've got that little bit of area of circulation. Our biggest concern here is you can also see on the radar where the tornado warning is out. Athens, Georgia, 35,000 students at the University of Georgia, as well as the rest of the people that are in that area. So this morning, they know there's a tornado warning out. And by the way, in case you're just turning on the Weather Channel, this is, even though it's Doppler indicated serious enough that you should move away from any kind of windows and make sure that you're moving into interior room of your home. A basement is the safest place to be in case there is one of these storms that's moving through. We'll track this storm and we'll move it toward uh, Danielsville. Also Royalston there. Uh, Maria, as we go through the morning, this this line continues to travel. East. Yeah, we want to give a heads up too because Athens is in the line at the very least some damaging winds, but a typical first class for University of Georgia is around 8 a.m. But the buses that run and get the students to and from start about 5:30. 6 a.m. So they're uh, likely stopping the bus service at this point with the t active tornado warning. So just a heads up for students there. And let me show you some pictures because early this morning before we were kind of getting ourselves together here, we had a similar situation. A radar indicated warning moved right across the weather channel this morning. Ryan Davidson, our, our Met, went out and took a look at what it looks like when you're below it. You can actually see how that rain starts to move around. If you look at the top of the trees, you'll be able to see just a little bit of rotation with it. So you're watching. And, and we've seen them move through here before, these little areas of rotation. Uh, but you have to be concerned because they could actually be tornadic. So we watch that little kind of a misty looking cloud of heavy rain move in and then start to spin and shake those things around. I know a lot of families are getting the kids or trying to think about getting the kids at the bus stop. This is a live look at Atlanta right now where the severe threat for now is off to the east. But that cold front that's triggering all of this is still to the west. So we're not quite done with the severe risk. Although if you're trying to get out the door, this morning. We don't have those active warnings. Right. Hey, Ryan, can we widen this out just a little? Oh, you did already. Look, Panama <laughs> City, because a lot of these storms are, are coming in from the south and they'll continue to move north as the line, as that front line Maria just talked about, starts to move east. So Panama City, we're starting to see a lot of activity and have been this morning where some of the very heavy bands of moisture will pull in. We've had one to three inches of rain out of this line in Panama City. And all of this, by the way, is connected. This is that Gulf moisture mm -hmm. that's being thrown well ahead of the front and lighting up these thunderstorms. We know they're powerful in the overnight. As we put some heating on the day today, they'll be even worse. And so you got a major interstate too, I-10. If that's your route for the morning hours, keep in mind Youngstown near you, uh, Mariana at 718, and Cypress 734 Central Time. This is going to be in your area impacting you. All right, this line of storms moving northeast at about 35 miles an hour. There is not a storm that will dot on the radar that you won't know about by watching the Weather Channel this morning. But we've got another issue on the east coast of the U.S. We actually, Maria, have mm -hmm. two tropical systems. It's amazing how things have picked up, right? We have now Hurricane Gonzalo it's strengthening uh, now as it moves east of Puerto Rico. Carl Parker here now with a look at the impacts we're seeing there now. What lies ahead? And it's a lot for Gonzalo. Yeah, that's right. And it's very nearly now a major hurricane, 110 mile per hour winds officially and we do think it will become a major hurricane, just has a little notch to tick upward to do that. Here's a look at the latest from the Hurricane Center. It's moving northwest now at 13 miles per hour. There's the forecast track and intensities. It will turn more toward the north and then to the northeast and could take direct aim on Bermuda later this week. Now, here's the satellite picture. The storm is moving away from the islands. I want you also to notice these fingers that are driving southward out of that area of high cloud. Those are called trans Transverse bands, and you know what? There is no consensus as to why exactly that occurs, but we do know they're associated with rapidly strengthening storms, which this was. And now the core of that storm, well away from the island, so the lingering impacts will be higher surf and heavier rain. There certainly could be some flooding there in Puerto Rico. Another thing to show you: this is Tropical Storm Ana, that is well off to the east of Hawaii, 45 mile per hour winds. Now take a look at this. Isel was the strongest storm to 
ever hit the big island of Hawaii. It generally doesn't happen because you've got colder water that comes down along the west coast of the U.S. and weakens those systems. But in this case, the water is going to be warmer all the way to Hawaii. So it could be that we get a hurricane moving towards the big island later this week. That would be the first time in history if it does, in fact, happen that way. Much more on this coming up on AMHQ. Sweet mother of softness, Charmin. Take a closer look at Charmin Ultra Soft and you'll love what you see. Not only can you use less, but you can actually see the softness in our comfort cushions. We all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin Ultra Soft? Your adventurous side is waiting. Your relaxing side is calling. Your let's do it all side has arrived. And an unforgettable Disney vacation is all within your reach. And right now, you can create a seven-day package, including a select Walt Disney World Resort Hotel Room and theme park tickets for as little as $78 per person per day for a family of four. So come on, show your Disney side this year at the place where dreams come true. <laughs> Don't let a severe cold hold you back. Sir? Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Where you want your first scratch, Craig? Your choice. <sighs> What are you doing with that key, Jake? I'm thinking of scratching your car. Well, you should stop thinking that. You're a little bit too precious with it. Don't touch my dart, Jake. Come on, it's for your own good. You'll thank me later. Move out of the way so you don't get hurt. I mean, it's gonna happen. Jake. Might as well be from a friend. Step back, Jake. There is no reason for any individual to have a computer in his home. Meet the unsung heroes of innovation who defied the doubters and changed the world on How We Got to Now, Wednesday at 9, 8 central, only on PBS. Let's do a reality check. Kids will be kids. Dogs will be dogs. So let's get some paint that's more than just paint. Made to stand up to this and look beautiful for years. Let's lose the old marks and messes and stop new ones in their tracks. Let's worry-proof our walls. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Bear Premium Plus with easy clean finish starting at $25.97 a gallon. Pain from your day can haunt you at night. Don't let it. Advil PM gives you the healing sleep you need, helping you fall asleep and stay asleep so your body can heal as you rest. Advil PM for a healing night's sleep. Fatherhood. Lesson number one. Deep sea delight. Pregnant wives have late night cravings. Um, the ice cream, please. Lesson number Thank two. You. Make sure you get her ice cream in a cup. With a lid. That's why you want accident forgiveness from Allstate. It keeps your rates from going up just because of an accident. Plus, when you switch today, you could save up to 10% more on your auto policy. Just a few more ways. The good hands are doing more than ever before. Call 866-532-0707 now. The wildest weather ever caught on camera. Oh my God. Tonight, tomorrow night, every weeknight, wild weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 81 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Today, partly cloudy with an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. High, 86. Chance of rain, 40%. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms early, then partly cloudy after midnight. Low, 76. Chance of rain, 40%. Here's our seven-day outlook.
29 minutes after the hour, welcome back to AMHQ, getting you through your Tuesday morning with a line of storms that's moving to the southeast, rapidly developing, continually strengthening, and we've got some dangerous elements in these storms that we need to get you caught up on. This is a live shot this morning from our live cameras that are in uh, North Georgia. You're looking kind of toward the Atlanta area. Mike Bettis is beneath that camera a little bit later this morning. We've also had thousands without power this morning after severe storms started in Alabama last night, and then this track started moving through. We had wind gusts with the dam up to 49 miles an hour, took out some trees and power lines. More than 10, two inches, I'm sorry, of rain fell in the Huntsville airport. Now, one woman was killed in Walker County, Alabama, uh, when that tree fell onto her home in that area. We've had reports uh, of just a few other injuries out of those storms as well. This morning, we've got a very active, powerful line. We've already had 63 mile per hour wind gusts coming up with these storms that have been moving out of Florida. So let's get you caught up on the lines. There are several lines. It's not just one thing to watch. So the first line that's moving through and we uh, by the way had this this storm it continues to rocket at about 50 miles an hour uh, 55 miles an hour toward the east and northeast but this warning tornado warning is still out for Athens you can basically the reason we're so concerned about this one in the Athens area is getting students warned we've got about 35,000 students in the Athens Georgia area and the National Weather Service has even issued a little bit of writing on this talking about the fact that this whatever area of circulation they found on the radar could actually be rain wrapped and it would not be easily seen. So you need to make sure that right away you move inside a secure building away from any windows to an interior room if you can. Basement's even better. Nicholson, you're involved in some of that as well as we track that storm continues to move a bit toward the northeast. When we're looking at these, you're looking at the red lines that are kind of the, 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 the wind moving away from the radar site. The green starts to have a return. When you see them side by side, you go hey, heads up, something's going on there. When you start to see them spin a little bit, then that's exactly when the National Weather Service will say, folks, take cover because we've got that rotation in that area. Again, if you watch that rotation, it is actually a little bit just north of Athens, which is very good news in that area as it continues to move. There's Comer, Georgia as well. There's Commerce, Georgia as well. Live picture of Athens this morning, just to show you again where that little area of circulation is just to the north. And you can see, uh, it looks like we have a construction area through there, which is kind of, you know, one of those things that you, you, you want to look because you want to look at that picture just to see if there's anything that's moving in that image. So that's very good sign right there because we're looking at live shot to show you that the wind is not as intense south of that area of circulation. That's Corel Hall is what they're telling me on the campus there, the business school uh, uh, in uh, University of Georgia. Okay, so back on camera, let's get to the tor tornado watch. This was just extended east. And if you think that we're just talking about a morning line of storms, we're not. We're talking about an entire day into the evening. This tornado watch that includes Columbia, Charlotte, also into Charleston, goes until two o'clock. Mike Bettis, you've been under these storms this morning, that little area of rotation and circulation passed right over you this morning. So Mike, how's the rain behind the line? And let's talk to people about what's still coming because we're not out of the woods yet. No, we are not. You know, Atlanta, it's better conditions now, not the worst that squall line has gone east. You're going to see this light to moderate rain throughout the morning, but the roadways are going to be very, very wet for you. And now that the rush hour has begun, it's going to be a really tough go for you for sure. Uh, that squall line knocked out power to about 28,000 in Georgia. Almost all of those are in the metro Atlanta area, about 20,000 without power in Alabama, about 24,000 without power in Louisiana for a total of about 72,000 people. No reason to expect that squall line not to knock out power. Now, east talking over into South Carolina and North Carolina, North Florida. These are all places where high winds are going to knock down trees and knock down power lines as well. It's a pretty significant squall line. It's going to be all wind. That'll be the primary threat with this. And then spin-ups of tornadoes that will be very, very brief. Could, put, be, could be on the ground for truly just seconds, but briefly intense, and then they'll dissipate. That's the threat with some of these sometimes. It's very hard to detect on radar. Often they'll happen in between scans. And so you may have that tornado that touches down and it doesn't even get warned on or it gets warned on after the fact because you just don't see it in time. Uh, what we're looking at for the Atlanta metro area, very difficult conditions for the morning, probably through early afternoon, then things improve. Tomorrow, a much better day, much calmer. The sun will come out. Temperatures are cooler in the 60s, and then through the rest of the week, conditions look pretty good as well. Let's get some more details on these storms then with Maria. She's following this morning from the studio. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Mike. Yeah, uh, you know, speaking of Atlanta, so far so good at the airport as far as travel goes. Uh, no delays at the airport, but because we expect a day long still in parts of the southeast that may not be the case throughout the day. Uh,